Alright, hello everyone, Shrug here, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to make an instant edit. That's not a good start. Anyway, let's get started. So, I'm going to start, I'm going to build input, so I'm building it in the sky so it don't have to muck around with ground stuff. But anyway, we'll start right by building an instant X or gauge. So, this here is going to work by, uh, you're going to have, oh, I'm not too sure if you've seen my old XOR design, um, it uses wire cutting, and what wire cutting is the worst idea you could ever have and use with instant logic, it's just the worst thing ever, no, never again. <laughs> um, so, as you can probably tell from what I just said there, uh, no, it's because uh, wire cutting actually takes one tick, and taking one tick is a not not a good thing, especially when you when it's meant to be instant. So anyway, let's use this. This is an OR gate, and since uh, the way this this works is it works by refreshing a clock, and no matter what, if this is since it's an OR gate, it's not going to matter if you turn this one off because it's an OR gate and it's that or that both of them can be off, both of them can be on it's OR anyway, let's continue building we'll place block there, block here now this is first output of the OR gate it's, it's inverted like the input, so as I should have said earlier on anyway, now we need to do now this version of wire cutting is different, this works in zero ticks. I should actually say, the version of wire cutting you want to avoid is, I'll just show it quickly to you now actually, this this type, where you cut a wire from a retracting piston, it, yeah, it just doesn't work, it just doesn't work. Okay, anyway, there we go, we've got an XOR gate, so let's just try it out. Oops. A. Up or off. That one. Up or on. So. As magical as it sounds, it works. Hmm, I said that wrong. Anyway. Now, due to the way my instant logic works, uh, you're going to have to have a clock. So. Let's set up the clock now. For when we want to tile this later. Because this is this tiles, which is nice. So there we go. Now actually, we could also just just to save space, make it look nicer. Drop it down this down a level. So here we go. We're going to XOR game now to copy and paste it. So copy point one. And copy point two. So, bringing it down here, we're going to actually do this like the output, like so. And we're going to paste it onto this block here. And whoops, we copied the <laughs> we copied the levers. Not a good idea. Right. Anyway, there we go. Also, blocks disappear from pistons, so you might want to watch out for that. And also you can get these double pistons. Not a good idea to have them either. Aha! Last thing, you want to leave it here. Entirely forgot about that. Because when this block is extended, this wire is going to be straight. And it's going to go straight into this block. And this block here is beside this piston, which powers this piston. So you don't want that. So you want, you want to attract the wire away from that. So we'll just do that here as well. And then we go. So we've got we have the end part, or not the end part, we've got the XOR part of the full adder. Now we just need the end. So end can be easily achieved. Like this. So we're gonna have an output running along here. Probably not that long actually, but it's stupidly long. But there we go. We'll just do this one here as well. 
Du, 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 du. Piston down there. And drop this in right here. Place a block right here. And then we've got we've got the oh, this is carry out, if you didn't know. So with this carry out put here, what we can do is now we can we can stack it. So yeah, let's stack it. I also like to break that wire there so that all of the pistons are currently retracted. This means that it's easier to, or when we stack this, it's going to stack uh, without broken blocks, and because nobody likes broken blocks. Stack. Oops. Do it three times. You know, if you can place this bit of wire here back. And now we can actually whoops activate all of these. Because we want them all activated because it's their neutral state. Okay. So now we want to put the carry out into the carrion, and the carrion is up here. Now this may be a little bit tricky actually. So we've got to. I'm thinking that we may actually need to have one more block space, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to stack it this time. I'm going to grab, like, put the second position over here, one further out. I just realised. Uh, step three. Okay. Looks terrible idea. I'll come back to you when I've got this stacked in it and um, and carried because I, I think this might take a bit longer than I expect alright so um, I've got this all connected up and working it, I'd like to show you what I did to this I, it's actually a little bit different than what I had anticipated so what I added was a central clock system this here is this wire here in front of me I'll put this on actually uh, so you can see here the wire um, no, I'll just get them, them now. Um, so you can see the wire. This wire will pulse every two ticks, or two ticks on, two ticks off, and that there will just govern basically the speed at which um, all the pistons operate at or refresh at. So now, uh, also another thing is here's how I did the carry. So output coming out three blocks going in two blocks, up a block, up another one, into into the carry, and then continuing on its way. So anyway, with that, let's start her up. So currently, I'm not too sure how to do Oh, I've got three inputted, so this is outputting three. Now I can click this one, and that should be outputting up here. That is correct. And we could just another one onto this one outputting up there so yeah pretty nifty I oh also um, the thing is there was a problem oh no, no no problems I was wondering why it looked like it wasn't outputting correctly but it was just me looking at it weirdly so we also do this carry plus first input propagates down to here anyway thanks for watching I hope you guys learned something from this it's been fun making it I'm probably 100% no 90% chance of me making a full on instant computer now that my I've really gotten a good hold of how I can do all the logic gates and you guys should give it a shot it's actually really simple when you think about it. I mean, all it is is blocks being pulled away and stuff happening. It's a really bad description of it. But anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.